The lure of Alaska is in her untamed places. Magnificent Prince William Sound is a fantasy land of icy peaks, chiseled fjords, rugged coastline, abundant wildlife, and unforgettable glacier and wildlife adventures with Stan Stevens Cruises. Wonder is at home in Valdez, gateway to Prince William Sound. So are Stan and Mary Helen Stevens and their all Alaskan crew, all actively sharing their beloved backyard with Alaska visitors. That's the greatest thing about this job is people uh, were able to do a great deal for changing the way people feel about the environment in the sound. Well, Stan started with fishing charters with a small 28-foot boat and we decided to go into tourism. We thought we were crazy. Building a business is, is a long process. It took the whole family and it took a lot of sacrifice and a lot of risk. It was a pretty cool playground. I mean, you know, you know they always were concerned because they pulled us away from soccer teams and friends and all of that, but we, um, we had our own fun. All our pilot houses are open. And to be able to talk to the captain, I think, is very, very important. The boats have been built for, for the ice. And all our props are special designed for ice. We go through more ice probably than any other tour. Bigger than Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island combined, Prince William Sound is located in the mighty Gulf of Alaska. Located just within reach from Anchorage, Fairbanks, or the Matsu Valley, Valdez is considered one of the most desirable recreation destinations in Alaska. With some of the world's largest and most thrilling glaciers, a vital commercial fishing industry, diverse wildlife, and the famed Trans-Alaska Pipeline that snakes its way across 800 miles of wilderness, starts at the Arctic Ocean, and ends here in the port town of Valdez. Against this stunning backdrop, history unfolds. European explorers, fur trappers, and thousands of gold seekers traveling the historic All-America route to the Klondike fell under Alaska's spell. Fishermen came for the salmon and halibut. Fox farmers raised kits on secluded islands. And the communities of Valdez, Cordova, and Whittier opened the door to Alaska's heartland. Then, the ground shook on Good Friday in 1964, creating a mountainous tidal wave, devastating cities and towns. The Exxon Valdez ran aground on Bly Reef in 1989, stunning the world. I think one of the biggest struggles was when, when the oil spill happened. That was a very difficult time for, for all of us, but uh, a very difficult time for me because seeing what happened to the, to the sound. When that happened, uh, it's taken a while for it to come back. But nature continues to heal itself. Wildlife is rebounding. And at Columbia Glacier, history is still being made. It, it's real history. There's uh, what's going on at Columbia you'll never be able to see again right now. Columbia sits back there in 10,000 foot mountains or higher. And once that ice clears away and the boats are able to get back in, you're going to have 10,000 foot mountains in glaciers coming from every. There'll be not another place in the world. There really won't be another place in the world like Columbia. And Columbia right now is making history, but what it's going to be like in the future is just, it's just unbelievable. A Stan Stevens Glacier Cruise is the ideal way to experience Prince William Sound, and it's perfect for the whole family. 
you can see some of the buildings from uh, a band of mining town of Elmar there. By the time they've been through the sound, no matter what the conditions are, when they come back, they have a different attitude. They're able to put away their all the stresses and, and all the problems they have and enjoy the sound. And when they come back, they have a totally different attitude and, and outlook on, uh, on life. Guests glide through the iceberg-dotted waters of Columbia Bay, lingering near Columbia Glacier to listen and to learn. And there's a whole educational aspect that we try to give people on the intricate details of Prince William Sound. Now this is actually where Columbia Glacier used to sit up until about 1982. There's just the capability to see the animals in the wild, which many people never, ever, even people from the interior of Alaska don't necessarily have a chance to see them. People usually walk away pretty amazed. They come face to face with thundering Mears Glacier as it calves huge slabs of ice into the sea. And they thrill to the constant interaction with wildlife. The skipper deftly steers his craft, making sure each traveler sees it all. The stellar sea lions at Bullhead, playful sea otters graceful porpoises, spouting humpbacks, and breaching killer whales. Crew members point out highlights, guests keep their eyes peeled and cameras poised. But when all three boats pull back to the dock and the crew is arguing over who had a better day and whose whale was better and whose glacier calved better, it, we can only hope that the customers had as good of a day, but if they're enjoying themselves that much, that's really a sign that something's going right. But I just enjoy sharing all this with, with a lot of people from all over the world and all over our country. No Alaska vacation would be complete without a visit to this incomparable region on an intimate day boat excursion. A glacier and wildlife cruise makes you a witness to and a vital participant in the wonder of Prince William Sound. This has been the greatest life any one individual could have. It's an adventure only nature and Stan Stevens could create.